Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you. Happy, 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 happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, guys. We just have to come in because uh, Simon is not acting right. He's posting, talking about his peace of mind and his baby girl, which is not his, well, I guess it would be his baby girl, but he got her over at the house. I don't you know trying to catch up with her and all her comings and goings. But I really don't see PJ. PJ needs to be there every time his baby girl is there. They need to forge a friendship, a kinship, and a likable here. Right? So, that is that Portia and Simon are giving us about a blended family, uh, the comings and goings, and all that great stuff. It's looking like bullshit. And I have to call out bullshit when I see bullshit and when I feel bullshit. Okay. Because I'm tired of Simon giving us this half ass uh, farce of a relationship and trying to build a family. Every time I see him, his one child always left him. I mean, it's like giving me the jelly without the peanut butter. It's like having shoes on with no socks. It's like having a hamburger ready to fry, but we don't have the frying pan. All right? I don't know what type of flying flip or a dolphin shit Simon and Portia are trying to give us. Okay? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Now, we know how things are with families and families breaking up and then going forward with another group of family members. Yes, we know that. We understand that. But we don't know why baby girl is always being photographed with her dad. So we're, that's why we're in Messyville this morning. Yes, it's, what time is it? I think it's 10 something. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, it's 11 something. 11.03. Yeah, this is baby girl. Looking very fresh. Her Hawaiian outfit. And then we got, ooh, lovely PJ running around there. Okay. Easter. We saw PJ. Um, we saw PJ with the boys. All right. Now PJ is off with his uh, rapper friend celebrating the birthday party of Haley. But we didn't see baby girl, okay? Baby girl on the left is what I'm saying. We see her here with Father Time, aka Papa Smurf, okay? And Flapjack Head is what I want to call him now. Now, I don't know what you're doing, Simon, to these mothers that you can't seem to get it, get it together to have a full-fledged house of children running around at the same damn time, Okay. I don't understand. You must be doing something wrong. And Portia, are you alienating these women? I think these other three women that had children by Simon. And you know, we see Fallon. See the two boys on the right? Those are Simon. Two boys on the other side hanging around Fallon. That's hers. They were supposed to be a blended family as well. But Portia, I hope you're taking notes because it seems like when Simon is through, he's through with the kids as well. And I would hate to see that happen to PJ. Because she might somewhat grow a fond attachment to Father Time. Because you keep pushing the scenario that child is going to be a family. Okay? But as we can see, we don't really get to see Simon and all his kids together at one damn time. Okay? Maybe not the older kids because they're doing life and life is experiencing with them. And they don't always have time to come around the old fogies once they get in their young adult life or their latter teenage years life, their friends become more important than family. Okay? Not right. That's just the way how it is. Then we got uh, Father Time over here messing with great, great grandma. Okay? We don't know what, what's going on with that. We don't care to know. But we would like to know where is her husband. Because Portia ain't saying nothing about her granddaddy dying or anything. And we know we don't got tired of seeing Mama Joyce. I mean, not Mama Joyce. Uh, Mama Gina. We are definitely tired of seeing her. And 
Dennis. I am trying to put the pieces together to give Portia a real good picture of what her life is going to detail if she marries Simon the Bobby. Because to me, Simon looks good with your mom. They're in the same age group, even though he keeps denying it. But I keep trying to figure out where the hell is Larry. Y'all remember this guy right here? Larry. He was always in the picture when Mama Gina was there. Always in the picture. See what's going on. See, that's that's Larry right there. A uh, nice looking man. A nice looking man. And, you know, Mama Gina always, you know, had love for everybody. Except for Portia Bullshit. She called bullshit because Portia Mama can't call bullshit on her own child. All right. Now, everything could have worked. It, it could have worked out. Portia was headstrong, head bent on making Dennis' mom the scapegoat. Only because Mama, De Mama Gina called her out on her bullshit. Like, if you're going to marry my son, you're going to pay the piper. You're going to sign the treaty. And I'm like, Portia, you don't think Simon is going to make you sign a prenup, girl? <laughs> you better think again. He had Fallon do one, so he's going to have you do one. I don't understand what's the big issue because Dirty Simon got money. Dennis McKenzie got money. But you're willing to sign a prenup with Dirty Simon and not someone that was closer to your age group who looked at very well good with you, Dennis McKenzie. But you, you shot that up. This is, uh, you shot that straight to hell. This is Nicole Gabadia, okay? You never see her, ever. So I'm like, her mama is really, really distancing, I guess, her daughter from Simon Gabadia. Yep, he's supposed to be the educated one, the one that sets the tone, the provider of the family. But he done had three ex wives, of course, will be the fourth. I want to tell y'all, now, I can't say Portia must have upgraded him in his hormone section because he was trying to live that Hollywood life with Fallon, and he looked at old. I mean, old as shit. I'm like, God damn, he looked ancient. Fallon made that man look ancient. I mean, I guess he was worried so much about what Fallon was doing, who she was doing it with, and when he finally figured out that Stein, I mean, Fallon had checked out on his ass, even though he took a trip for a month or so and checked out left her on Valentine's Day. Okay? But, Simon, do you know who this man is? Allegedly, he was supposed to be cheating and bought a portion of that Rolls Royce. That white Rolls Royce she was rolling around town in. This man was supposed to have gifted her that car. Whatever happened to that car? Did the man take the car back for her? Did the man take the car back? Because you ain't rolling in that white Rolls Royce like King is still rolling in all white Rolls Royce that she bought herself. Okay, Portia, Portia, Portia. Ooh, girl. What in the jumping jack flash 106 and park shit is going on with you, girl? What is going on? All right. You're trying to be a doo-wop, girl. You're trying to be everybody but whoever you're supposed to be. And again, I know you got this shit from your mama. And your mama got that shit from her mama. But I'm still trying to figure out where the hell Larry at. That thought it looked like a good picture. Well, Larry, Larry and her dad. Mm-hmm. At least Mama Gina got some pride and more value by her. Okay? She may not have a man. She may have a man. But it don't matter. She got the bread. She got the money. She got the time. And she ain't putting up with no bullshit from no man. And she definitely wasn't putting up no bullshit with you. So she got to retire sooner rather than later. And she wants to be retiring nicely. But you and Simon can't get over the fact that Fallon cheated. Okay? But did Simon cheat first? That's what I want to know. Because, you know, everybody's like trying to go tip the tap and, you know, and trying to get each other back. And sometimes shit don't work out right. But we can all put on the playing field that Dennis was a cheater, Portia was a cheater, Fallon was a cheater, and Simon was a cheater. And let's get over it. We don't care flying pepper dolphin shit about the cheating counters anymore. We're trying to sit up here and blend families together. And there's no reason in hell that you and Simon and Miss Gina can't sit down and get a relationship going. Okay? It's no reason on God's green earth that y'all cannot come together. Because if he can come together with your mama, your mama's mama, 
And I don't know. I guess he got rid of Larry. I guess Larry said, this shit is too complicated and too unreal, and I'm bouncing. He said, I'm out. And I'm like, okay, okay, Larry. That's right. Plus, uh, Simon is turning Portia mama into a hoe. Or I should say one of his hoes. She's graciously accepting it. Riding around with them. She's shopping with them. Hell, it's not far to be, uh, it's not far fetched that she could be laying with him. I am just saying. I, I can see why he got the hell on. And Portia ain't taking no more pictures of him. And because he ain't around to take no more pictures. Okay, so I don't know if Portia ain't playing that Simon's gonna get her mama African, a Liberian African. I don't know. But if mama is worried about and concerned about and willing to wait on Portia to say her over the rich African. Oh, Lord, we're going to have to do some videos on Mama. We're going to do some videos on Mama. Because you're not supposed to be depending on your daughter to set you up. Okay? You have tools. But you definitely was real bloated. Real floated. Okay? And I'm bloated and floated too. But I still be getting around. Okay? I be getting around. I don't need the uh, help of my daughter to set me up with nobody. Okay? Nobody. But she don't got thin. And ready to mingle. Because she's single. They don't got ready for a ladder. All right. But she might be hooking it with Simon behind Portia back. We don't know. It's just speculated. It's just hearsay over here. But as Dennis said, Portia flies fast and crashes hard. So Simon, if she's up for a, 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 a hard fly and a solid crash, let us just know. Let us just know. Because, like I said, you never have baby girl present and ready to mingle with her supposedly soon to be stepsister. You see what I'm saying? Got her out here and maybe her mama just don't like Portia. That is Simon. Her mama don't like Portia or her mama don't like neither one of y'all. So she had to keep her daughter away until she feel like she wants to let her come around you. Because really PJ needs that daughter. She needs to be growing and solidifying a friendship, a bond, kinship with your daughter. Because it's going to be messing them up. You're trying to put them together. You're trying to say y'all a family. But if this is some foolish, fakery, fraudulent, and fuckery shit y'all got going on, then shame on both of y'all. Because y'all messing with these kids. And that's not fair. That's not fair at all. And Simon, all thing I see about her and you is them fat cheeks. Okay? I can just love on her fat cheeks all the time. That's all I see. Because... You got those veneers, which you should have pulled all your teeth out and got dinner. You know what I'm saying? You got them veneers to cap over your old, brown stain, raggedy looking mouth. Okay? But I did have a picture in here, but I forgot to talk about it when we were coasting over these visuals, these optics that were giving us. Okay? And I can say, Portia got you looking a little younger than when you were with Fallon. Because you looked at, you really looked like old timer. You was an old, old timer. Like you doing some serious hard work. Fallon had your behind worried because you look like somebody ancient. I'm telling you, you look like father time. And you kind of pudgy too. I don't know what, what you were eating because you were stressed out. Fallon was uh, living her best life, looking good and trying to manage all these kids going around here. Because it looks, it looks like y'all had with me six kids plus seven plus eight plus nine. Y'all got to have about nine children, right? When you blended them together. Ten with PJ, right? So, I don't understand. If your past wives loved and respected you so much, you should have a time where every time you take vacation with your kids, all the kids should be present plus PJ. We don't need to see great grandmama here, okay? Your Portia's mama mama. No, we don't need to see you hugged up with them. We don't need to see you partying with these couple people. And I'm like, Jamil, you better be watching out now because that man look like he kind of close up on you. All right. We damn sure don't need to see Mama Diane in any pic of anything with you two because it just makes it, you know, it just speculates what could be going on because a picture tells a thousand words, okay? It tells a thousand words, a thousand tales as well. And I was just mad because you were playing both me. You were playing Simon and Dennis. Saying, oh, I love you. I love you. That's what you're talking about, each one of them. And now I'm looking for this man right here. This man right here. Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky Guy. 
Larry is what they called it. But I guess Larry couldn't give you what you needed with many, many surgeries. Give you and lace you with diamonds and pearls and all kind of materialistic shit. You know, why do you can't get your shit like Mama Gina? Mama Gina be up in that hot dog facility all the time. In the restaurant. You know, fries, land, steak. You know, kind of like a Waffle House sort of thing. Whatever these people want it. All customers come in, she makes sure they got it. Food, edible stuff is what I'm talking about. She didn't mind going behind the counter, fixing up a hot dog, frying up a hamburger, setting down some fries and the grease. She didn't care. She knew she would be retiring soon, and she's going to be definitely worried about herself. Her, what is it, me, myself, and I, it's the only thing she's going to be worried about, and her grandchild, the only grandchild that she has. Third assignment is trying to take all that away, okay? He only wants what he wants when he wants it. And I can't say, Portia, you're about the same. But they're eating off the same plate, drinking down the same wine, and serving up the same dessert. You understand what I'm saying, people? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? It is a piss for shame that this young lady don't want to have nothing to do, allegedly, with her dad. Uh huh. You don't have nothing to do with her dad. So that says a lot, Simon, about you. It's like you don't toe the road, you don't set standards, or you set standards, you just won't follow them. Okay. So I'm pretty disappointed in you. Because see, that, that's a picture. You see how his teeth was kind of brown and just messed up? He put them veneers on them when he met Portia. Portia kind of upgraded him, made him start looking like that Hollywood wife. And that's what he likes. But whether he keep you or marry you and make you an honorable woman, that's another different set of avenues, another set of pictures we have to go through and sift through and see if you're really going to fly fast and crash hard, in my Dennis McKinley words. Okay? But that's all I got about this video. All right, if anybody can tell me if that was the African man that Portia had got her Rolls Royce from, that would be excellent to know. You know, in case we need to use it later on on her behind. But we don't want to come up with no crocodile tears. We don't want to hear nothing about Simon did this to her, so that's why she couldn't marry him. We don't want to hear all that for you. We don't been in this thing with you for a year and a, mm, let me see, it's been a year and two months now, on them three months. And we still don't know whether you're coming or whether you're going because you just like, what do you call it? A revolving door. A revolving door with me in a situation put PJ in a very precarious position, okay? So I hope Dennis is definitely making his rounds to the courthouse. He's filling out paperwork because I just don't want to train her judgment. Not that I really did, but since I can't find Larry, I'm really not trusting you. How could you let your mom get or lose the best thing she probably ever had in a long time, all right? But, I don't know, maybe you and Simon are telling your mother lies about y'all can hook her up with somebody. Because y'all definitely let her lose all the weight she can possibly lose. Because from looking like she was a size uh, 26, 28, she's down a size. So, I'm hoping all of this little surgery that she did to accomplish that look of fabulousness, hopefully she can maintain it and stay away from them wings. Them hot wings that she likes to have that Portia seems to bring around her. Every time they use it. But hey, now it may be a situation where Diane is in that house. We don't know. We don't know. Because we know Portia left her the house that she was once living in. And like I said, she just loaned it to her. She just lent it to her. Just to give us the perfect optics that she is over there living with Simon. But in our hearts of hearts, we know that's a question mark. She probably just come over there. She probably don't spend the night every night. Okay? Because I still have yet to see PJ at home. Yes, if it's a house full of love and honesty and building, we should see PJ's room. Just like she showed us PJ's room in her old house. But like I said, all of these are in the window speculations and allegations. But we definitely will continue to watch the situation unfold. And we will be here on the tube catching you up, <laughs> updating you on everything. All right. But y'all make sure y'all like and share and subscribe to the channel. And I've had several people come to me asking me to get a, I don't know, a 
ash out or something. My daughter was saying it. And she said, Mama, maybe that's something you need to do. But I want to pose a situation to my family. If y'all can help me get my other channel up to a thousand subscribers, I would really appreciate that. And I might think about putting in fruition, putting in a plan to start a cash app. Okay? But I am really concerned about making my other channel grow as this one grows because as I told you all, all people that want to start a YouTube channel, it depends on what you talk about. And Facebook or I should say YouTube will lock you in where you're getting your most hits. And on my main channels, which I'm taping today, I got stuck in the rotation and the algorithm of Real Housewives of Atlanta. It was Married to Medicine when I was doing a lot of reviews. But um, just talking about all the ladies here on Real Housewives of Atlanta, my videos get pushed that way. And I wanted to break out the cycle, but I couldn't actually break out of it. But I still uh, love who I talk about and try to give advice to on my main channel. But I'm trying to make my other channel is where I can talk about a lot of different celebrities from different uh, diversity cultures and all of that. So I can get out to the mainstream. But I am considering, I am considering, I wasn't considering at all because I told y'all I wanted to wait until I got, um, I got into retirement to really go full-fledged and pushing uh, my YouTube channel. Because, you know, I'm going to need that extra money because I don't think you could ever put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to retiring. And, you know, you depending on the government to do what they need to do because you invest in your retirement. You invested in Social Security. And, you know, this the presidencies we have going on and people are questioning on whether we will have Social Security, even though we've invested in it. Will it be there when it's time for me to retire? Or will it will still be there? I can, you know, make this my, you know, source of income as well. But I am, you know, definitely thinking and considering uh, making it where I can get a cash, was it cash out, PayPal? Hell, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> you know, I'm not that savvy. But I, that's my point of contention right now. I'm trying to get my other channel up. And it definitely has grown, so I appreciate each and every one of y'all. But we need to keep going over there to my other channel, which is Make It Make Sense, okay? Me as your host, me as your guide, me as your navigator. All right, and then I might consider coming on doing lives and stuff of that nature. But it's something I always wanted to do to give y'all a feel of a look see at me in real action, real time. Uh, but like I said, I don't really have the time to do all that and to get the schedule together and make sure I can. <laughs> And you know that comes first and foremost, okay? Because I gotta have a business, I gotta have rent, I gotta pay my rent or my mortgage, I should say. I gotta have my uh food, clothes, and stuff, but that is my shelter. I gotta be like, you gotta have. So I gotta stick with what's really steady for me. Uh, because when you're 54, you have to have all your options and things that you can keep doing with your health. Stuff of that nature. So I'm trying to make it work, guys. I'm trying to make it work. Y'all are definitely supporting me, and I appreciate each and every one of you all. I just don't understand the fact of something that I like to do free. You know, people are willing to pay you for it. I, I just haven't got to that concept yet. I'm like, I like to do this. I don't want to charge y'all to pay to hear me have my opinions. <laughs> and maybe let me make speculations, okay? But, uh, yeah, so I, I'm hearing you all. I'm not uh, disregarding anything that y'all want to see me shine and progress and stuff like that. Because I keep telling y'all, I'm not a comedian. I just happen to have the gift of gal and uh, the gift of making people laugh. And to me, that's a talent um, that God gave me. <laughs> it's not something I'm finna go on the road and do, y'all. Yeah, that ain't going to happen, okay? <laughs> I mean, never say never, but I just didn't, wouldn't have seen myself go out there and try to be a comedian, is what I'm saying. 
only my friends, my close friends, and family members know me for setting up and quick to get a person together. But that's about it. Now y'all know me as my YouTube family. Y'all know I can get somebody cut up and 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 diced up, sliced up, throwed up, anything I can possibly have come out my mouth. But it just comes out just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? But y'all continue to support your girl over here. And I'll keep trying to crank out videos of love. And, uh, you know, it's because all of this is just fun and kikis and ha ha. Nothing that I'm saying unless I really have done my research and I told you how this shit is real. This is happening. You know, this ain't no speculation or no allegation. This is for real. Just like Wendy Williams got her money tied up in that Fargo band. They screwing the hell out of her. You see what I'm saying? They are messing her up. Literally, and that's that's bad to you know be you know uh foster your main income to be a certain amount and you giving your money to a banking institution then they try to just take it or do what they want to do you freely gave it to them that's some bullshit but that's the way of the world that's the leaders of the world are making all these ridiculous rules. But yeah, Father Time is the bad when he was with Fallon. Then he was old like uh, the Crip, the Crip people. Uh, the Crip, what do you call it? Crip people. Yeah, that's right, I think. Uh, Jeepers Creepers. Hell, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say, but it looked like he the Crip people. Trying to live a Hollywood life through Fallon because she was asked to come on the show. From what I hear, she's asked, she's probably being asked or courted to come back to the show. That would be some real shit. I'm like, yeah, bring her back with her new man. <laughs> bring her back so she can drop some tea. Because, you know, Portia flies fast, trying to get beside her, trying to get somebody else leftovers. And she's going to crash hard. Hopefully she won't. She'll come to her senses, break free from Simon, and go get a younger man who's trying to make it do what it do. And, you know, but if that's for Portia plan, she want to marry somebody elderly, that's cool, too. That's her choice. But don't you find to leave him. When he get inconsequent, what do you call it, incapacitated, he needs your help. Physically, don't try to run off on him now. Don't try to leave him because you said you wanted him when he had, uh, when he was up in his good health or what kind of health he got that he could control in a sense. Don't leave him when he, you know, he lose a leg or he lose an arm or he just fall back and be bedridden for us. Don't, don't do that now because you, you're going to get drugged. You're going to get drugged because you said you love this man for better or for worse, for sick or poor, for, well, well for better or worse, for, for sickness and health. And for rich or poor, and that's what you said when you're going up here and trying to say you ready to marry this man. I need you to go find Larry. Go find Mama Gina as well. Because if you're really trying to have a blended family, like you try to pull a farce on us with that torture family matters mess, you can really bring it up. You can bring it back and you can do the right thing. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to be friends with Dennis. Just respect him. That's what uh, uh, your uh, father time, your glorified boyfriend was saying. You know, on one of his little reels that he was making, I'm sure you helped him make. He was saying, you know, women need to respect. That's they don't need to love. And that's what he was talking about, about that carry on preacher. Huh? Somebody told me that was basketball wise. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal, Shawnee, Shawnee's uh, uh, fiance. Uh, I don't know, because I don't really follow basketball wise, but she got to throw the role too, because she liked to do a lot of uh, crazy stuff. And the pastor may not be the all godly either. So I don't know. I don't know. But y'all get down in them comments like y'all always do. Be respectful to one another like y'all always are. And um I'll see you in the comment section, okay? Y'all dialogue and let me know and and tell me things what's on your mind and here and there. I'm looking, I'm seeing, I'm responding, okay? I'm responding. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.